Hello, I'm Cody Whipple with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Today, we're joined by Dave Nyhart, Bob Weber, and Nate Walters. And they're with the cold water unit for the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. In this video, they're actually going to be conducting a wild trout survey. Nate's going to introduce you to sort of a little bit more about the site selection, and then he's gonna actively talk about what exactly they're doing with this survey. Hi everyone, so we're just about ready here to start our survey. So I just wanna discuss our criteria for picking our sample site location. We wanna make sure that we select habitat that represents a larger portion or the entire stream that we're sampling. And it's important to pick a natural barrier or a break in the stream like this strong ripple. In case we start getting into this survey and realize we're getting a lot of trout and it might qualify for a class A listing, we might have to do a first and second pass mark and recapture technique. So a big important fact if we use that technique is we don't want fish moving in and out of our sample site by the time we do our first pass up through here and our second electric fishing pass. So we look for these natural barriers to make sure we have a closed population for our sample. So I'm going to start turning on the pack and getting it finished to being uh, set up here. So I have the correct voltage selected, I have the correct amperage being put into the water, and I'm going to make sure that I reset the timer. That way we can use uh, a catch per unit effort and know how much uh, time we've actually done in our electro fishing survey for a biomass estimate. So Dave's going to go ahead and start electro fishing. So right now he's moving up the creek slowly, making sure that he hits all the different ripples and pools. The current's passing between his anode probe and his hand and the rat tail that's hanging off the back of the electro fishing backpack. And as fish are stunned a moment for a moment, it's important that he nets them and hands them off to Web Weber so he can process the fish and take a good measurement of them. Hey, Nate, with this survey, are we collecting every species of fish that can be found in this creek? Or are you trying to focus specifically on trout and why either way? So we're focused specifically on netting and measuring the trout that we catch, whether that's brook trout or brown trout. But we also note the other species that occur in the stream. Some common species that we typically see during an electro fishing survey are black-nosed dace, creek chubs, common shiners. So we make a note of the number and abundance that we see of these different species in the stream, but our main focus point is on the trout. So trout really like this, this woody debris habitat. So when Dave's electro fishing, you want to make sure that you reach back underneath uh, these overhanging banks and around this woody debris structure because a lot of the trout will hold in there in that habitat. And we're coming up on a very nice pool here where we start to get some depth of water, which typically hold a lot of fish. There, he just netted one. Let's take a closer look. It's a small brook trout. Black nosed days, some other species, and a sculpin species. Dave just netted a nice brown trout out of that deeper pool.
along with a nicer brook trout. You can see how these fish have been attracted to his anode probe. 